Welcome back to Planet Hacks. Every time I look at the coolest hacks that you can use to stop your planet from overheating. Now, I've noticed quite a lot of you guys commenting, suggesting just chucking away your planet and starting again. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a spare planet lying about, then great. But most of us only have the one. And here on Planet Hacks, we're all about making the most of what you have. So without further ado, let's find out how to hack your planet to lower emissions and get global warming under control. Last time, we had a look at how clearing away planes can help keep your planet happy. But what other awesome hacks are out there that will make your globe into the envy of all your friends? Well, there's one hack that's gaining more and more popularity with climate nerds like me. But it's still kind of a hidden feature. Luckily for you, I'm here to break it down for you. This time, we're looking at food. Now, I know a lot of people don't realise that food is a big problem. I mean, when's the last time you saw a cabbage burning coal or cookies emitting carbon dioxide? But making the food we eat takes serious energy, and that means serious emissions. There are different levels of hack with this one. Let's start super easy so even the noobs can keep up. Looking at the planet I've got here, you can see that it's cluttered with food. But 30 to 50% of this goes to waste every year. You won't believe how easy this first hack is. Just buy the food you're actually gonna eat. Pretty clever, right? And in France, they're hacking even harder by selling ugly vegetables at reduced prices so that they don't go to waste. Cut food waste and boom, you're well on your way to reducing emissions from food. But what about you advanced planet hackers? Well, to take it to the next level, you might want to try changing your diet. That's because some foods mess up your planet more than others. The foods that cause the biggest problems are animal products. That's because growing animals is way less efficient than growing plants. It's this weird legacy system of human culture. Too many animal products on your planet could mean that controlling global warming is off the table. So let's get rid of them. For this hack, I'm going to demonstrate how to safely remove some food using this fork and spoon, but feel free to use any cutlery you have lying about. Now, lots of people find it pretty tricky to remove all animal products, but don't let that put you off. You can still achieve loads just by tweaking your diet. Try cutting down at first with meat-free Mondays. Or how about Veganuary? That's vegan January. Or if you can't wait that long, customer reviews suggest Vagorgust is just as good. Here's a little tip though if you're not ready to go full 100% vegan. The biggest climate culprits are beef, lamb and dairy. Awesome, all done, and what a difference it's made to our gorgeous globe. Changing your planet's diet could take care of about 15% of emissions. Not enough to completely fix the problem, but a huge start. I just know you're getting a taste for planet hacks now. So tune in next time for the most awesome advanced hack yet. That's next time in Planet Hacks. This is one of three videos I made for awesome climate change charity 1010. You can subscribe to them over here and subscribe to Climate Adam so you don't miss all my future videos. And check out the last Planet Hacks, which is all about flying down here. Until next time, bye.